Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of Oak Tree TV. I'm Dave Kemp and today I'm joined by Larry Guterman. Larry, say hello. Nice to see you, Dave. Thanks for having me. Absolutely, Larry. Thanks for joining. So, uh, Larry is the Chief Customer Experience Officer at Sonatom. Sonatom is the parent company for the brand uh, Sonic Cloud, which some of you may be familiar with. And the reason I wanted to bring Larry on today is with all the news that we've been seeing lately coming out of Apple, coming out of Google around accessibility, Apple with Live Listen, Google with their sound amplifier tool, um, I thought it would be good to have Larry kind of weigh in on what really this technology is as his company, Sonic Cloud, um, makes a somewhat similar technology, but at, on, at the same time is quite a bit different as well. So I'll let Larry kind of start there and share with us you know, how his technology relates to what we're seeing from these tech giants. Sure, so um, it's great that uh, the giant tech giants like Apple and Google are getting into the uh, accessibility space in this way. Definitely helpful for folks in live ambient situations who have mild loss and may need a little bit of enhancement. What Sonic Cloud has developed beyond that is really transformative app and technology for enhancing and personalizing audio on phone calls and on the laptop for folks with mild all the way to profound hearing loss. Um, the technology consists of a very accurate hearing assessment. It's been lauded by folks like uh, Dr. Robert Sweeto, uh, Professor Emeritus at UCSF and a renowned audiologist who says it's the most accurate online or mobile hearing assessment that he's seen that he's taken. Um, and it captures the hearing acuity of the indiv individual both on an iPhone and on an Android phone. And it does so in a whimsical and engaging way, meaning it's not a clinical or um, intimidating device. You can take it in the comfort of your home. We also built a from the ground up VoIP service, meaning we built a calling service and app like WhatsApp or Skype, but that leverages the results of this accurate hearing assessment to personalize the audio on your phone calls to enhance it um, uh, and tailor it according to your hearing loss. And finally, we've built um, an application that works on the Mac, coming soon on Windows, that will tailor and personalize all audio coming out of your Mac, whether it's Netflix or YouTube, whether you're listening to music like Spotify or Pandora, or whether you're on a call like we're on right now on Zoom or Skype, if you have hearing loss. Now, if you can see my audiogram on the screen there, you see that I've had, I have severe to profound hearing loss. I've had it since I was in college. Right now, I'm talking to you using just my earbuds and using the processing that I get from Sonic Cloud. And if you take a look and see on the screen, you can see an example. I can actually show it to you right now while we're talking, where you can actually see me using this application and making changes to be able to understand everything you're saying, both from my right ear and my left ear. Um, what I want to point out, though, is that while our uh, hearing assessment was developed in concert with um, uh, the former chief of audiology at Stanford Children's Health, Dr. Jody Winzelberg, we really are intended to work with and in complement to the hearing aid. Um, the idea is that there's this vast, much, much bigger ecosystem of hearing enhancement capability now and of sources of audio, whether it's the car or audio, the computer, or the phone, um, the, the, the voice assistant, you know, Alexa or Siri. Um, there are so many different inputs for audio now, and folks with hearing loss can't benefit from it unless that audio can be enhanced in a certain way. So you have this sort of driving force of the hearing aid, and then you add these complements that allow you to make uh, additional adjustments. No, I think that's a really good point that you make, and I agree. I think it's uh, a complementary thing, and that kind of leads me to the next question, which is, you know, for the hearing healthcare professionals that are watching this episode, um, I'm sure some of them are thinking, well, is this a replacement to a hearing aid? And no, on the contrary, it's a complementary item. So why don't you speak to how you see this, uh, you know, Sonic Cloud fitting into the hearing healthcare professionals uh, suite of tools that they can offer to their patients? Absolutely. So we did a bunch of focus groups around the country in audiology clinics, and we found that when folks are using their hearing aids, streaming audio to their hearing aids on phone calls or even on the computer, they loved having the capability of Sonic Cloud to do self-tuning and self-adjustment that's more powerful than what you typically get to allow them to zero in either on certain voices or to reduce noise in the background for certain environments. Um, and so our self-tuning capability which is um, more granular than anything else currently offered out there, and which you can also do without needing to know anything about audio, 
hertz or decibels or audiology. Um, for example, you can manipulate, I think you can see on the screen, certain phonemes or letters just with your fingers and audio is played back in a loop and as you make the changes you can hear the differences. Um, the second thing that's really powerful is that our VoIP app is much higher bandwidth than standard carrier like AT&T or Verizon. So the audio actually going into your hearing aid is already much richer um, and has a much wider bandwidth than what you would typically get, which as we all know, if you can get 10, 15% more speech understanding between a combination of the richness and the bandwidth of the audio combined with the self-tuning, you might go from being able to understand uh, on that phone call where you're interviewing for your job versus being in utter terror of not quite being able to understand what you're hearing. So that's that that that's a way in which I, I think that um, you would you would incorporate Sonic Cloud into uh, a suite of tools uh, to help folks uh, in the audiology practice. No, I think that's a great way to put it. You know, this is something that is it's almost like an additional layer that just enhances the hearing aids that much more. You know, if you have this uh, a severity of hearing loss that that really warrants um, this, like Larry said, ten to fifteen percent, you know, incremental increase in things like phone calls you're taking a use case and you're just making it that much better. You're making that user experience that much better. So Larry, as we wrap up here, why don't you share kind of some of the things that are on the horizon uh, that's going on at Sonic Cloud right now? Sure, we've had accolades from Apple and Google. We just recently, a couple of weeks ago, won the Alexa Conference uh, Startup uh, Award. We're talking to tech companies. We're talking to consumer electronics manufacturing companies about ways to integrate with their technology. Um, we're talking about we're talking with pharma companies. Bottom line is we want to figure out a way to integrate Sonic Cloud and make hearing accessibility truly accessible across all the many uh, more ways that we consume audio than we have in the past. Awesome, very cool, Larry, and well put. I think that would be a uh, a pretty awesome um, dream to fulfill. You know, if you guys really can continue to increase uh, just more solutions for the hearing loss community, I think is definitely a win. So Larry, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you to everyone who watched and we will see you next week. Cheers.